blast! A leech! Nearly the size of a man! Oh, how shall we get rid of this horrid beast? I ain't scared of no flumpin' space leech. Wait, an idea. To get rid of these leeches, perhaps we could poison our own blood! So at this point, Quinn realizes that he recognizes the symbol on the door, right? It looks like this. Do you remember? Do you remember it? No. This is the symbol of the mayor of the city of the Necromancers, right? He gives a key to Quinn. Okay. Uh, by he, you mean the mayor? Yes. He, the mayor, gives Quinn a key. I, I don't remember the mayor's name, but he gives Quinn a key, and that key opens up the door. That's how you write it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, sorry, Ron, I totally forgot. This is, um... I'm Glenn Hadley. I won second place in the quest for an Unknown Planet trivia contest. Uh, and, and the prize was that he gets to spend a day with us. Uh, Glenn, I like to say that uh, we are big fans of our big fans, and I know you're a big fan, so it's just a, a bunch of big fans hanging out together. Well, I've seen every episode at least three times, but not more than five. <laughs> uh, so this is where we uh, write the episodes. Oh, cool. Are you guys working on one right now? Yeah, we are. Actually, this is what I use uh, to, you know, write my parts of the episodes. I know how to use a laptop. Is that a symbol from the mayor of the Necromancers? What does Quinn do with that key that Mayor Mortbrand gave him? Good question. That key is actually going to show up in this very episode. That's right. What do you mean, now? Mm-hmm. It's been like... A season and a half. This is just gonna use a random key on a totally unrelated planet, like, a year later? It's not a random key. That makes sense. There's locks that would be the same. And good job remembering Mayor Mortban's name. Oh, well, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, you guys named uh, another character a similar name. Daniel Fortband in uh, episode uh, 97. Myth Train. I mean, the names are pretty much identical. Ah, look at that. Great, I'm for later. glad that you noticed that, that you're so good at finding things and noticing. Can I use this pad and paper for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we use pads and paper like that all the time just to make little notes to ourselves and figure out all the, all the different parts of that. This is, this, is, this is my pad of paper. This is mine. You know what? That's fine, because you can have this official Quest for an Unknown Planet pen. This is a TD Bank pen. It is a TD Bank pen. You get these for free at TD Bank. That's right. And um, an author on one of your favorite shows. I, I didn't say that QFOP was my favorite show. QFOP is what we call a quest for an unknown planet. Josh, he knows that. He's the one who said QFOP. Okay. And hey, if QFOP isn't your favorite show, then what is? Oh, QFOP is my favorite show, but I didn't say that. You guys just assumed that. It's weird to just make assumptions of things without asking me first. I have a question. What is Dr. Reginald Savonius' doctorate in? Oh, because you don't know. Because in episode 106, From Caterpillar to God, he explains that his doctorate is in comparative quantum sociobiology. But... In episode 127, The Eye Never Shuts, he says his doctorate is in... Uh, I know, I know. Uh, analytic relativity. Bioanalytical special relativity, actually. So which is it? Hey, uh, this actually is the uh, coffee cup that I use when I'm getting sleepy and I'm... He has two degrees. He has two doctorates. Dr. Reginald Savonius has two doctorates, yeah. Okay, hey, you only won second place in a trivia contest. I won zeroth place, huh? Do you want to see my ribbon? Here it is. Here's my ribbon. It's the whole thing. It's the whole office. Because I made the trivia. And so did I. Um, 
You know what? I could get you a t-shirt. Do you want a QFOP t-shirt? I only won second place because there were technically two answers to one of the questions, two correct answers. And the guy that won first answered just one of them. I could sign the t-shirt, and since I'm a writer, if I sign something, then that thing becomes a script. I already have a t-shirt signed by everyone in the cast. I even made Pharaoh sign his full name. Aben Newman Kamen Amhotep. T.A. Nalian. Nehemsa. Achmeditan Petalon. Beryllium Flavius. The fourth. I know everything there is to know about Pharaoh because I've written some pretty flumpin' good fan fiction about him. In fact, QFOPFanfic.com gave me the Critics' Choice Award for Best Short Stories of Pharaoh, where I introduce his brother. Yeah, that's right, a character I invented. Oh. Oh. Clap, clap, clap. Well, guess what? I'm not impressed because I invented the whole show. Okay, what you write is called fanfic. What I write is canon, okay? Flumpin canon. I have won the Hugo, I have won the Nebula, and I've been on the short list to be nominated for several, several Golden Globes, okay? And you know what else? I've had sex with women. Really okay. attractive women who wouldn't have even talked to me if I wasn't such a big shot speculative fiction author, okay? Ryan, please calm down, okay? He's a fan, all right? He's just excited to meet you. Imagine if you met Lucas. I would slap him. Imagine if you met Lucas 20 years ago. Yeah. Hey, Glenn? I'm sorry, I overreacted. That... That's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, thanks for letting me, you know, hang out with you guys today in your office. You guys have a really good show. See you later. <laughs> the f nerd stole my laptop. I have a pretty good idea of what happened here. By the way, have I ever mentioned to you that I have two doctorate degrees? One in comparative quantum sociobiology and another in analytic relativity. That's amazing. Also, have I mentioned that I have no brother? I'm an only child. No brother at all. That is interesting. 